Hello, and welcome to Great Fermentation's video on using the Blickman beer gun. In this video, we will introduce the beer gun, show a demonstration of the beer gun in use, show the parts required to operate the beer gun, and show you how to disassemble and reassemble the beer gun for cleaning and maintenance. Using more traditional methods to bottle from the keg, such as filling from the tap or standard counter pressure fillers, brewers risk oxidizing their beer by filling an air-filled bottle. Carbonation is lost through foaming that occurs during a sudden change from kegging pressure to atmospheric pressure, and from turbulence when the beer is agitated. What you are left with in the end is oxidized flat beer. The beer gun is a revolutionary bottle filler developed by the engineers at Blickman, which allows you to first purge bottles with CO2 with the simple press of a button, then allows you to fill the bottle from the bottom up with minimal agitation, which drastically reduces foaming and CO2 loss. The valve of the beer gun is seated at the end of the filling tube, which keeps the tube filled with liquid. This ensures a consistent fill every time, and further eliminates turbulence because beer is not forced through an empty tube every time a bottle is filled. The beer gun eliminates all the problems encountered when filling from the keg with more traditional methods. What's more, the headspace can then be once again purged after filling, eliminating any lingering oxygen that may be present in the headspace of the bottle. You will want a low CO2 pressure on both the keg and the beer gun when bottling. Blickman says in their instructions to never exceed 15 psi when using the beer gun, and suggests a starting pressure of about half the dispensing pressure. Anywhere from 2 to 5 psi has been shown to work well. When hooking up everything, make sure the check valves on the CO2 side are shut off. Once everything is connected, open the check valves, run some CO2 through the gas line, and run liquid through the liquid line until it flows freely. Bottles should be pre-chilled if possible. A cold bottle will allow CO2 to stay more readily in solution and will reduce foaming as you fill. This can be accomplished by setting bottles in the refrigerator overnight before bottling. Purge your sanitized bottle by first holding down the CO2 button on the beer gun for three or four seconds, then fill the bottle using the trigger on the beer gun. Once the bottle is full, purge the headspace with CO2 to create a blanket of CO2 on the top of the beer. Take a sanitized cap, put it on the top of the bottle, then crimp on with a bottle capper. There you have it! You have successfully bottled using the Blickman beer gun. Repeat as many times as you need. Blickman has included a list of tips and tricks under the troubleshooting section of the beer gun manual. Be sure to read the complete manual in order to get the best bottled product possible. Included with the beer gun is the main beer gun unit, a 10-foot length of liquid line, and a double-ended brush for cleaning. In addition to this, you will need a liquid disconnect to hook up the beer gun to the liquid side of your keg, CO2 line with at least one quarter-inch swivel nut set to attach CO2 to the beer gun, and a brass quarter-inch NPT by quarter-inch flare adapter. All this is included with the beer gun accessory kit. The only other thing you will need in addition to these is a way to split CO2 from your regulator. This can be accomplished with a Y splitter and some CO2 check valves or a two-way manifold. Prior to and after use, you will need to take the beer gun apart to clean and sanitize. First, remove the black silicon valve seat from the stainless steel clip, then remove the clip from the groove on the end of the CO2 tube. Next, remove the trigger as shown here by pushing in slightly then pulling to remove. You can now slide the trigger and the spring off the stem of the beer gun. Undo the flare fitting on the CO2 tube to remove both the fitting and the tube from the brass body of the beer gun. The liquid line, which is the inner stem tube, is then removed. That's all there is to it. You can now individually clean and sanitize the beer gun parts. In order to bottle beer from the keg using the beer gun, it must be hooked up to both beer and CO2. In addition, the source keg must be hooked up to CO2 as well. This requires splitting the CO2 from your regulator in some fashion. Either a Y fitting with two CO2 valves or a two-way manifold can be used for this. Attach the 10 feet of liquid line included with the beer gun to the back of the liquid tubing as shown here. Then attach the other end to a keg with a liquid disconnect and quarter inch swivel nut set. Attach CO2 to the beer gun using a length of CO2 tubing, a quarter inch NPT by quarter inch flare fitting, and a quarter inch swivel nut set. The other side should be attached to a CO2 source. That's all it takes to hook the beer gun up to both liquid and CO2. 
There you have it. We thank you for watching Great Fermentation's video on using the Blickman beer gun. Please let us know if you have any questions or comments regarding the beer gun. Take care and may all your fermentations be great fermentations.